Hey guys, just wanted to give another uh, update here. I'm moving really slow on the Jimmy 2 skiff, which was kind of the expectation uh, given family and work and other hobbies that take me away from this one and some home renovation stuff also. But anyway, uh, just tonight I finished the complete set of patterns that I'm going to use to make my uh, parts for the Jimmy 2 kind of like I did in my previous video with the thicker plywood. These are all the ones now that I'm going to use for the, uh, I think it's quarter inch and three eighths inch uh, plywood once I'm done scarf with the scarf joints and gluing those together. Um, my previous video, I showed you the scarf joints ready to glue. Here's the joint. It's all glued up on my quarter inch ones. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, hopefully you can see that fairly well. I'm thinking maybe of not painting this, so I'm trying to keep the grain as nice as I can. So, so far so good, I think. So we'll see in the end how it works out. But um, these are most of the patterns that I made. And then I have some more up top here. I have a rack where I'm going to keep the patterns as well as the finished pieces once I have them cut out and ready to go while they're waiting for assembly. Um, part of the reason I did the I did these patterns was to um, just for repeatability. If I ever want to make a new dagger board, which you can see right there, or any of these other parts, I can I can make them fairly easily just using a router with a flush trim bit or a pattern bit, depending on what exactly I'm doing. For anybody that's not familiar, sorry about the shaky camera, but um, very low tech here. Anybody that's not familiar with the pattern bit, it's a, here's one right here. It's basically just a router bit that rides on this little bearing that bearing rides on the templates that i've made and then the blade there is perfectly in line with that bit so i just can double double-sided tape the template to the plywood that i'm going to use and then it cuts a, an exact um exact piece so anything I mess up on the template will translate directly to the finished product. So I was really careful to make sure that all my templates are smooth and fair and everything is exactly how I want it to be. Any of the little 90 degree inner edges, for example, right here, I'm going to have to, obviously, because the router bit is round, I'm going to have to square those off just using the small handsaw and then I'll probably chisel them to get them nice and nice and uh, exact the way I want them. But the main reason I did that, I did the hardboard, was it's a lot easier, I think, to sand those smooth and then have that translate to the finished plywood than to sand a three quarter inch plywood and piece of plywood in some cases. Um, so I just use a variety of round. I'm a big, huge fan of sanding blocks. So just homemade ones. This is my favorite because it's obviously just a piece of scrap oak, super hard. This one's probably a big box store one made out of rubber. Um, but if you want a super straight sanding, super straight edge, a hard block is the way to go and that's 60 grit paper on there um yeah so that's the deal there let's see what else another thing i did on the real delicate points like that's so that's the bottom piece right here this long one it's hard to get it all in the frame but the very tip of that for example is fairly delicate so i use some ca glue just from the hobby shop that I had sitting around from other hobbies that I'm in that I like to do. Um, that's what I used. And I just put some of that on all those delicate outer edges 
that way, um, hopefully over the years that keeps them the way that they, the way that I intended them to be and they don't get crushed. So I just have to be really careful with those. Uh, another thing, I ended up getting one sheet of this Artec. This is the two inch flotation because I am planning on putting an outboard uh, or at least making it so I could someday add an outboard to the back of this boat. Um, some of these some of these pieces are pretty big, obviously, big and long, so I'm working on the floor so I can put that piece of foam down. And when I'm cutting out the templates with the jigsaw, um, that keeps the template high enough off my concrete garage floor that I don't hit the blade on the floor. So that's come in handy, and I'm going to be able to use that in the end with the final uh, assembly before I put the seat tops on. The manual for the Jimmy 2 shows that you can cut the, some of this stuff up and stick it under the seats for flotation. And then I'm also going to use it to put the my real long um, pieces of marine plywood on when I attempt the routing, the flush routing operation that should keep it off <clears throat> enough off the ground that I can do my routing that way because I don't have a workbench. I just have a fairly narrow workbench all around my garage here. So that's the plan for that foam. Um, and I think that is pretty much it for now. Unfortunately, I'm moving really slow. My goal is by midsummer I'm done, but that could be a pipe dream. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna try and do a little bit every day or at night when the wife and kids are in bed. It's when I have my free time. So I hope you are all three of my subscribers are doing well and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.